Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use DAT load board. People usually often ask how to use DAT load board, because uh, the main load board, the load board, most, uh, most used load boards and you will find lots of loads, especially specifically on DAT. So first of all remember that load board is a marketplace where people, like brokers, sell their loads and uh, carriers, they sell their service. Yeah? They, need to, they need to get their trucks moving yeah? and they need to find loads and, and brokers, it's opposite. They need to, need to find carrier for their load. And first of all, before going to the load board, you have to prepare info about uh, your truck uh, for example, if you are independent dispatcher, if you are working with some some owner up, yeah, you have to prepare info like um, where that uh, truck is located, where the driver is located, where that driver needs to go, if there is any uh, desirable destination, yeah, or he or she just want to go anywhere, and uh, also uh, you have to have to do special notes like whether driver if it's let's say drive van box truck whether driver has pallet jack how and how many straps that certain driver has whether driver has hazmat or tweak card and etc like number number of uh, truck number trailer number if needed and and etc and what time uh, what time that certain driver will be ready so then you go to the load board. First of all, uh, many people just go directly to uh, search loads, yeah, to this section. You don't have to do that. First of all, you have to post your truck. Because before going to search load, let's just post your truck. We we'll click over here. And uh, for example, you have uh, you have driver in Chicago, Illinois, yeah, and that driver needs to go to to let's say Dallas, Texas. We'll put over here, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, and go into Dallas, Texas. Okay. Also, we have to fill out this this section, the length. Let's say we have 53 foot drive van and max weight. Max weight that truck can handle is 45,000. Also, uh, why I said that you have to prepare all info uh, about the about the truck, you don't have to because you have to post some of some of that info in comment section. It's going to be good because uh, brokers will know more will learn more about your equipment before calling you or emailing you. So you don't have to uh, write down all of that info, just most necessary. So over here I will put like number, truck number, number five. Yeah. And really important thing, what time that certain truck will be ready. Ready, maybe 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, and let's put over here. Okay, Friday. Okay, and let's okay, let's post that we just posted that truck. And you have to understand that it's really important because again you post it, then you can you can go to the search loads. So we don't have to do anything about it. Yeah, just, just uh, you search for loads and you just basically you just wait, yeah. You just you are not waiting like you don't not do not wait doing nothing you're searching for loads but in that certain moment uh, brokers can uh, some broker can call you and offer you really good load so I know I know you will you will search for loads you will do lots of calls like we as truck dispatchers we we do that like tons of calls every single day because why because we want to find like the best load yeah and you have to select yeah that load is not good that like the rate is not good or 
um, that load rate is good, but like hours of operation are not good or bad, like let's say it's 500 miles run and to uh, pick up is today uh, in the morning and delivery like tomorrow afternoon. So it's not good because you will not you will not have a lot of options for uh, to, to find a load next day because you will be there like tomorrow morning first thing in the morning it's possible to do like 500 six even 700 miles in one day so you you post your truck and then uh, I'll show you just like small uh, small tip how you can get an idea about the average rates because I know some of you are beginners and people always usually ask like okay I'm a beginner how do I know uh, what is rate the best how do I know like the average rate what rate per mile I should ask and etc so click on tools over here then quick rate search and select your your option your market it's gonna be then flatbed or reefer okay we have then yeah we have driver in Chicago Illinois okay and that certain driver needs to uh, get back to Dallas Texas And click search right now we see that uh, we see both like broker to carrier spots 322 per mile and also we have like a uh, rate per trip so at least I, I understand it's not gonna be like exact rate you should ask it will show you like average rate because that uh, this load board uh, calculate like different uh, collect different rates you know, on this certain lane Chicago Illinois going to Dallas Texas collect and then calculate rate per mile in this case is three dollars twenty two and rate per trip is two thousand nine hundred ninety so it doesn't mean that you have to ask like three dollars twenty two per mile you have to ask more first of all because it's uh, it shows, shows you like average rate at the moment yeah you have to ask more and for you who are beginners it will be like great uh, way to get an idea about the average rate you will see that okay I don't have to ask like two dollars per mile I don't have to ask five dollars per mile I have to ask like in this range like uh, probably 350 yeah because remember you can always negotiate rates down so don't ask like your best right away when broker will ask you okay uh, what do you need yeah you are calling about low from Chicago Illinois going to Dallas Texas and they will, will ask what do you need don't, add, don't tell them your best you can go for tell them like higher rates just put two three four hundred hundreds more and then you can always negotiate that rate down and let's let's go to the uh, let's search for loads yeah let's put over here only we have then we have our driver is in Chicago Illinois he needs to go to Dallas Texas okay we have okay length 53 and the weight is 45 thousand and let's click search right now we have 68 uh, loads in total yeah and then you have make calls uh, maybe like maybe you have to play manipulate with this section which says deadhead because for example this load like 140 miles of that hat maybe it's going to be too much for you because usually brokers they do not pay for that hat in rare cases if they need uh, they need they are needy they need to find carrier they will call you sometimes they will call you and will, will ask like uh, will tell you that we will pay it doesn't matter if you are like close if you are 
140 miles away, that's okay, we'll pay for your deadhead. But usually it does not happen, unfortunately. So you have to keep that in mind that uh, if you have a lot of option in this case we have like 68 loads maybe it's uh, reasonable to uh, to play with the with this section that hat maybe you have to put for example 100 miles on both ends yeah it will, it will narrow our list but at least at least uh, you will have like Lows that are close, like really close to your origin, both origin and destination. So in this case, we have like 30 miles, yeah, 95 miles, but most of them like 20, 30 miles, 30 something miles. Some of them are in Chicago or in Dallas, going to Dallas directly. So also you have to uh, have to pay attention to uh, to to brokers like there is section uh, like credit score yeah 95 it's a good credit score and days to pay uh, it, it says in how many days certain broker like this uh, will will pay you if you do not have factoring company because different topic if you have factoring company they will pay you uh, like in few days but if you do not have like for example, Blue Grace Logistics, they pay in 21 days. One Star Ranger will pay in 22 days, and and etc. So, uh, if you are a broker, it's opposite. Yeah, you have to. Uh, we are carriers, so we have a section post trucks and search trucks. Yeah, uh, if you are a broker, you have uh, option post loads. Yeah, and and search for trucks as well and it's opposite you have to find yes yeah, simple as it is you have to find carrier for your load and also small tip uh, if you are if you are looking again you are a carrier you need to find the loads on certain lane also you can go to uh, search trucks and you may think okay why in the world I have to go to the search trucks because I am a carrier. Yeah, uh, I like I do not need to know how many. Uh, I do not need a truck. I I need to load. I need to find a load for my driver. But it will give you. A, you will have an idea how many trucks are there in certain area. For example, let's get back to search loads. Yeah, we have. A second. We have 34 loads on lane Chicago, Illinois, going to Dallas, Texas, and that had in both ends is 100 miles. And let's go to the search. Let's get back to search trucks, and we will see how many of them, how many trucks are there in Chicago that are looking to go to the Dallas, Texas. Let's click over here only. We have then. 53 feet, the weight is 45,000. Again, Chicago, Illinois, going to Dallas, Texas. And don't forget that we put 100 miles on both ends. Okay, right now we have 14 of them. We have 14 drivers, 14 trucks that are looking uh, to go directly to Dallas, Texas or to uh, to Texas to, to state uh, or to go to the south like this one this guy to south in general so remember let's let's switch back again keep in mind 14 trucks that might go that look and go to Dallas or to Dallas area or just to south including Dallas 14 trucks and let's switch back to the to loads and we have 34 loads on this certain lane Chicago Illinois going to going to Dallas Texas or Dallas Texas area and in this case it's not it's it will not take uh, a lot of time but use that option use that option because you will see how many trucks are there because again it's market and it's competition you have to compete with other other 
drivers other companies yeah and you have to understand okay if uh, they are more trucks than loads on certain lane what I have to do I have to I have to book for like I don't have to ask high rates in the first place in the first place yeah because uh, I will not find I will not I do not have a lot of options uh, anyway yeah and I have to understand that uh, if it's bad area we have to just escape we have to just get out of that area to better one yeah, and then we can we can ask for higher rates. So you will understand that situation. You will understand market. Yeah, and it's again it's really important for you. So small, few small uh, small tips. Use always use search trucks, and also uh, use uh, this section. Yeah. Uh, this section where you can. Uh, check like average average rate on certain certain lane yeah quick rate search just which i just showed you showed you like 10 minutes ago and again don't just first of all don't just go uh jump to the go just don't just go to the search loads yeah always post your track and then and then go to the search loads in many cases, in many cases, brokers will call you and will offer you really good rates. Remember, if they are calling you, they will call you, they will offer you higher rates. Because it's like they are asking favor, asking you a favor. Uh, can, you, can you move that load for us, please? Because if you will call them, uh, they will always try to negotiate rate down yeah and uh, because in this case you are asking a favor and you have to understand that when you post a truck and they call you you can ask really high rates because you understand that they are they are need they need to move it to get their load moving and you have to use that and always uh, don't book again don't book cheap loads in that case if they are offering you they're calling you and they're telling you uh, we offer you this and this load, for example, I'm going from Chicago area to Dallas, Texas. And we offer you this rate. Always ask more. Like, always ask more. Even, I know that when you are calling about the loads, you are asking more. But in this case, ask even more because, again, they are calling you. And uh, try to book your task as track dispatcher is not just to book load for every trade yeah but to book load with highest rate highest possible rate which is like at least for higher market rate remember i just showed you uh this tool yeah a quick rate search showed you shows you uh, like the every trade but remember you have to uh, you have to book for the best rate because it's going to be your task if you will have any questions Please feel free to ask us and we'll be more than glad to help you. And I wish you a lot of luck and see you next time. Bye-bye.